gets a couple, oh, spins out of trouble, right foot goal, got it! First impressions of Fifey, I think we nicknamed him Avatar early days. Tall, skinny kid with schoolboy hair. And five hooking of goal! Yeah, that was my first impressions, was exactly that, Avatar. There's no doubt he had potential. His leap was massive, but he was also this skinny kid with you know, unbelievable huge legs. Five's got it, got a little bit of breathing space. Oh. Lovely left foot off the outside of the boot. That is a remarkable goal! Nate, the knife, Fife! <laughs> He'd already won a brown low before I got to the pub, so obviously I thought he was amazing. I was like, oh, you know, that's Fifey. I even still like a little bit now, I'm still a bit starstruck. Five for the big fly! High fives all round! He leads by example. Every time he's out there, he's giving his all for the team. He never kind of goes missing when we need him. Darcy down to five, scrambles a goal! The skipper slides it home! A really calm operator. We could be, you know, one point up or down with a couple minutes to go and he'll still be really calmly chatting to the boys at stoppages and directing and leading. And then, yeah, he just steps up under pressure. You don't really realise how professional he is until you get to meet him. I spent my first few weeks actually living with him. Everything he does in his life is very precise and he does it for a reason and I think it really shows that yeah, his preparation and his dedication is, is why he's so good, not just raw talent. Twisting, turning and snapping a goal. All class from that fight. Before I'd met him, the footage of him showing up, I think like two or three Geelong defenders and then snapping a goal was probably the main thing that I remember. His determination to win. You can see that when he plays on certain players. Dangerfield when them two went head to head a few years ago. That was a standout, but that just shows he's willing to win and he's willing to get the best out of himself for the team, and that's one of his massive attributes. You see Fife one on two or three on one, you'd always kick it to him just because he'd either halve the contest or win it. So he's always a good battle actually for us backs, and sometimes I just ball watch and just watch him instead of actually doing what I should be doing. So yeah, it's a pretty good feeling to be playing with him. Well, here are the Fremantle Dockers led by their superstar skipper in that fight. A game that comes to mind would be Collingwood. I think we were up just by a couple of points and he just continued to win clearance after clearance and just surge it down the line and let us set up and, you know, talking to the young boys, communicating and directing, which is, um, is a really good trade to have, I guess. Fremantle have snatched the win. It is a remarkable victory. A thriller at the G. There's no doubt he learned a lot from Matty Pavlich, but they're different in their own little ways. When I saw him come in the meetings, he always had his notebook. He was destined to be a, a future leader of this footy club. I think he loves just seeing the younger kids grow up and become real stars of the game, and that's what he really gets his enjoyment out of. I really think that he's going to be the captain that takes this club to our first premiership. Five's a chance here. Five is a big, 